Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Again, I would love to get your support for this channel by joining Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics membership program. It's just, uh, you can choose your tier of program that you would donate to this channel and you would definitely get some cool perks to go along with whatever level tier you're on to support this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. All right guys, the results are in of the survey that I shot out here on my channel on the community tab. I asked first Lego League teams, what, what are the sensor or sensors do you use on your first Lego League robot? Now, I don't know who's responding to these surveys. It could be team members, it could be coaches. And so I got the results and here you go. The results are that I, I gave them a choice and I only get five choices on the YouTube survey. So I'm gonna be asking you in a second, maybe to clarify one of your answers. So the choices were color, touch, gyro, a combination of you know multiple sensors or none and here are the results so let me get my paper here so i can make sure this is right so 32 people voted 22 percent or seven people said just color three percent or one person said touch or just touch this was surprising zero percent zero people said just gyro interesting I'm wondering if a lot of those people are gonna belong in the combo. The combo was 50%, 16 people said a combination. And that's what I would have to ask. For those of you that remember choosing combo in the comments section, can you enlighten us? What combination of sensors did you use? I'd love to find that answer out. And then lastly, 25% or eight of you said no sensors at all. And so I'm throwing out a lot of questions from that survey. The first one again is those of you that chose combo, what combination of sensors are you using? I'm wondering if it's gyro plus something else and that's why 0% chose just gyro. I'm wondering if it's spike prime and it, because there's a built-in gyro, I'm wondering if some people are just foregoing that. I don't know. And then another thing I'm thinking about is, um, you know, those of you that chose the combo, I'm wondering, you know, what are you doing with these sensors? Um, is it line following? Um, is it the color sensor where I've seen some genius teams actually put an attachment on and you can give props to yourself and say, yeah, Mr. You know, that was us. They actually had a color on their attachment. So when they put their attachment on their robot, the color sensor would and then, automatically pick up that color. For those of you that are on I'm the attachment, you don't use any sensors at all. I'd love to hear your attachment, your reasoning on that. And you get and no so judgment I'm from also me wondering I will about be honest, the a lot of times, my I'm guessing it's low a because either. a couple when of you're, reasons you're why. When running your first Lego League missions, um, you know, you're not really touching anything. I'm not sure. You know, you might have to explain that. But also you can use your touch sensor to, you know, activate programs too. used to use the gyro and I kid you not we took 20 gyro uh, sensors to a competition one time just to make sure that we didn't have any issues like if one didn't work we could just use another one and I kid you not none of them worked and I'm wondering if some of you stay away from the gyro because it's such a fickle sensor um, you know, a lot of times, and I've heard lots of horror stories of taking gyro sensors to competitions and somehow they choose competitions to not work. Now, and I will so, be honest, it, it's I a fascinating time, topic, and I love a robot the design award that I got without that. using a sensor. And then let me read, but let me to read you something to you. from the first Lego League One of robot, the rubric, um, robot um, design rubric entries very for robot design to win those a robot of you that would say award, we don't use any says for colors or you know, three, no sensors at all. Of three. I'm wondering if you are just foregoing the fact that you don't want to win 
a robot design award. Get a four if it are the kids the deciding three. we just don't want to get explanation hung up of on their using robot sensors because attachment number one or like the gyro sensors. can malfunction. Now, it used number to say two, or sensors. If you're now line it says following, sometimes robot that could attachment make your the mission and goes slower. Sensor functionality. Or is it and that so you're just saying you know we? I'm, I'm curious we to just know wanna, for those of you that depend on our any kind of sensors to have the robot do what it's supposed to. And we really don't want to utilize that. And I know it's the kids' decision. and let the rest of the robot design take care of itself. The attachments, you know, the code and everything like that. So again, it's such a fascinating um, topic and I would love your input for, if you're watching this going, I know the answer for our team to, the, to that question. I'd love to hear it down in the comment section. Robot design award. We just wanna, you know, possibly win the robot game. And again, I, you get no judgment from me because my teams have done both. We've used sensors to line follow before. Um, they've used sensors, um, they've used a color sensor to activate programs. They've used touch sensors to activate programs. I've had teams go, we're done with sensors. We've tried it, we don't like it. And they have stripped the whole robot of sensors. And I was like, okay. Um, that's your choice. You live with it. If you go to robot design and they ask you about sensors, you just own it, you know, own the decision and say, we as a team decided not to use sensors. Um, I ho hopefully they could get some brownie points for that going, Hey, you guys, you know, put that before a, a decision. All of you agreed and stuck with it. I, I think they might get more points on that case than saying, well, some of us wanted it, some of us did, and we just fought all the time about not using it or using it. So, um, but it's a great conversation piece, you guys. And going into, you know, the summer and into next um, year's FLL season of Masterpiece, that's something that you should already be thinking about. Do we rely on sensors? If so, which one or ones? Um, if we don't use sensors, uh, you know, does our code back up the reliability of our programs? And are we going to own up to, you know, the robot design award saying, hey, if we get called out on it, we're going to say we don't use it because. And so I don't know, guys, I, I'm throwing this out, seeing if you guys will talk to me in the co in the comments about all of these questions and decisions. OK. Thank you guys so much for answering that survey question. It was really enlightening. One more time, if you put a combo, let me know what combination of sensors do your does your team use and what are you guys using it for? Um, the world would love to know. If you want to be secretive about it, that's also a good decision too. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Missionals Lego Robotics. I am out.